whole my life I've struggled with, with cleaning, with being organized, with tidying, chores. It's never been my strong point. As I've gotten older, I you know I've learned how to how to manage that better. But there's times in my life where that comes up again as an issue. Like if I'm feeling really depressed or anxious, or if I'm having a lot of brain injury symptoms, it's it's really hard to stay on top of that. Especially now that I live alone and have for a long time, I'm the only person that does the chores. So if if, if I don't have the energy, there's no one that I can be like, hey, can you can you get on that? Because it's just me. Um, and I often beat myself up a lot for not being particularly tidy or neat and I sort of feel like I live like a bridge troll some days and um, I've lately I've just been having a hard time because in the last you know couple of months I've had a lot of big changes in life I haven't had a lot of time to clean or or do that kind of stuff and it, it feels like you know the couple hours here and there that I can contribute to that it's just like such a monumental task that it's almost like it doesn't make a difference <laughs> and it feels like this like Sisyphus you know where you're rolling the boulder up the hill and it just keeps on rolling back down um, and so I had a thought the other day and I was like you know I'm feeling really overwhelmed with this like this is this is too much and I don't feel like I can I can get ahead on this and I was like what if what if I like hired a housekeeper to come in and like do a deep clean so that I could then sort of start fresh and you know not have this whole mountain of gross to deal with and then I could just work on the maintenance side and I was like you know that's not a bad idea and I'm I'm luckily in a place in life where I can think of that as a viable option of course not everyone is going to have the resources to do that there was definitely a time in my life where that was not a possibility um you know, and it's funny because it's a very bougie thing, you know, to be like, oh, I hired a housekeeper. And at the same time, like, it's okay to admit, like, I can't handle this. I need outside help. It's almost like, you know, when you hire a therapist to help clean up your emotional stuff, you're saying, like, I need someone else to sit with me through this, to help me through this. And I feel like that was sort of the, the thing I've been needing is to have someone come in and help me with this. Um... And so I did. <laughs> I hired this poor, unsuspecting housekeeper. <laughs> and bless, bless their hearts. It's a, a small company, locally owned here in Utah, owned by women. Um, and I don't know if they knew what they were getting themselves into today. Um, but they actually emailed me partway through and said, you know, it's really bad in here. And, and we're not going to finish everything. <laughs> I was like, I know, I'm so sorry. Like, I try, I cleaned, I cleaned ahead of you, and it's still really terrible. Thank you for anything you can do. And they're like, we might, you might want us to schedule a second session because we only got to two rooms. Um, and and I'm here, and as you can see behind me, they they did some dishes. I just spent like three hours doing dishes in the last like two days myself, um, and everything smells like it's been cleaned um and they like fully cleaned off my stove top which has just been disgusting and I've had the hardest time like I have a really old bathtub and so it collects mold really easily because it's got like tile grout and it's really hard to get it out without like industrial cleaning supplies and I actually like I came home and like I almost cried because it was so meaningful to be able to walk into my space and to be like oh my god somebody help me with that and it's not totally disgusting in here um it's such an emotional weight off of me um and I don't know why it took me so long to like reach out and enlist some help and some support in getting that figured out um it's funny how we're just like no no I'll handle it I'll handle it like but maybe we maybe we can't maybe we need some support so I'm glad that I decided to do that. It's definitely a good use of my money. I certainly can't afford like a weekly housekeeper, um, but it's great to have someone come in and help me get it back to a reasonable level where then I can go ahead and maintain, um, maintain that cleaning in my regular spare time, which is very, very limited. <laughs> so to all the fellow bridge trolls out there, um, just know that it's not just you. Like, it's easy to feel a lot of shame when your house is messy or dirty, but like, 
you know, when we're struggling with depression or we're struggling with a big life transition, like it's really, it's really easy for that stuff to just not be high on the priority list. And there's really no point in shaming ourselves or feeling bad about it. Like just reach out, get the help you need, you know, maybe enlist a friend or a family member. If you can hire someone to come help you um, because there's no point in just in suffering and pretending like it's fine when it's not. So good luck to everyone out there.